how'd you, how did you get interested in and get into the field that you're in now? So that's a good question. I, um, both going backwards. So my, my biological father and my mom, uh, my dad was into the health and wellness industry. Oh, really? Yeah. So he started managing health clubs and he's, he built, uh, like three or four, um, health and racquetball clubs in the eighties in the South, which were the first of their kind down there. So he's, you know, um, so they were heavily involved operating those, um, you know, racquetball clubs and health clubs in the eighties. So I was around it a lot. Um, and then, you know, my mom kind of took that knowledge and her, uh, you know, love for wellness and fitness became a physical therapist. We moved back down South. Um, my stepdad became a physician. Uh, so she started her first practice down there and it was always an integrated deal where she was, you know, helping her clients with nutrition was also, you know, uh, doing exercises. And then they started doing Pilates when Pilates came around. So they were constantly incorporating just all in one wellness with her practices. And again, I worked with her. So I was just kind of around it all the time. Um, and then we came down to going to school. Uh, I ended up becoming a nurse, um, was doing that for a little while, working in the ICU and uh, came across a, a wellness. Uh, so I was approached by some recruited for a network marketing company, which was um, promoting health and wellness products, you know, majorly for weight loss. And uh, I became a client myself right before I had um, got married, lost about 30 pounds on the product. So I was like, hey, I was trying to get some sales experience at the time. I was like, you know, I'll just give it a shot. Ended up having really good success in the company uh, and then really found, I uh, guess, like, my passion for helping people, you know, on the front end of their health and, and life. I just enjoyed much more helping people, you know, getting off of medications and, you know, uh, focusing on what they can, they can deal with from a preventative standpoint. So, uh, fast forward a couple of years, you know, companies started going down. I'm kind of looking at different things, trying to figure out, Hey, how can I merge my wellness, my education now with my passion for um, preventative care or just health and wellness? And um, at that time, stumbled across, you know, functional medicine and, you know, um, anti-aging medicine, which I don't like to use that term much anymore, but because uh, nobody can anti-age, <laughs> but we can manage it. Um, so that was a big deal. And I started looking at aesthetics. And, um, was talking to a doctor back in Louisiana about trying to help, you know, do a joint clinic. And at that time was also looking at getting out of Louisiana. And so I was looking at different, uh, areas, you know, Dallas being one or Texas in general, uh, and Nevada, we ended up in Dallas. So I said, Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and apply for graduate school just to kind of bite the bullet. I knew it was going to be a, daunting thing, but I really wanted to have the ability to eventually own and operate my own practice. That's kind of what it was. And so, you know, uh, it was a grind. Moved here in 2014, November, jumped right into school the following August and uh, was busy just working full time and in school full time for three years. At the same time, I was already studying, you know, certifications and getting different training on on what I was going into. So like the whole Part of going through school was interesting because with functional medicine, you spend a large amount of time unlearning a lot of the stuff that you learn in conventional medicine. And so I really kind of just tried to position myself in the best way possible to be marketable to somebody that needed somebody, you know, with my interest and background. And um, incidentally, that happened. So the first job I got was out at a um, clinic in Carrollton that were doing a lot of the stuff I wanted to do. And uh, help help those guys run that practice for a little over a year and a half or so, and then things went uh, a different direction, and and um, ended up deciding to follow through with everything I had written down on paper. I had a booklet full of ideas. Really, and, Good uh, for yeah, you. I mean, it was all I've been thinking about this and plotting it for a long time, and kind of just visualizing how it would look, how it would feel, and what I really wanted to do, uh, which was kind of create more of a modern inviting energetic uh uh vibe to my practice kind of taking it out of no offense to my colleagues and stuff but it tends to be more of a tree hugging area of practice which i think is 
closed off to a lot of people uh, or maybe just um, uh, for me, I just wanted to have some place where people could feel comfortable going to see a provider. And a lot of people don't go to, to the doctor just because they don't feel comfortable, you know, so I think we've accomplished that. Um, and I, I know from patients that have come to see me that have said, hey, this is the best experience I've ever had in a, in a doctor's office. Some of them have real bad anxiety that's alleviated. So that's really good to hear, get that feedback that, you know, the space that you created has is is different, but it's also uh, inviting. 